In this video, I am going to be reviewing the Rachio 3E that I have installed here at my, my second house, my vacation home in La Paz, Mexico. Now I gotta say, I'm a big fan of technology and automated things. So I am definitely impressed with this and I love the way that this runs as an irrigation controller. But let's go through like kind of step by step what it can do. So I have this mounted outside, but it's under an eave, so it's protected from the rain. You can get it with a waterproof box, but I didn't buy that. And this is a professional irrigation controller. This isn't something like the little ones you buy at Home Depot that you kind of hook hoses up to and it does the timer. This is meant to connect to actuators and probably be installed by a professional, the rest of the irrigation system at least, and they just wired it into the ratio and you can set up different zones for watering a lawn or down here we have just drip irrigation in different parts of the yard i think we have seven different zones so the controller itself it just has a magnet that's holding the front cover on so you can pull that off and that's where all the wires are and you can also control some basic functions from the outdoor controller just pretty much choosing a zone one through eight and pushing start or stop everything that's magic is done through the internet, through the website, or through the app. So you can set everything up in the app, but the app can also modify things. Like if, uh, if the forecast says it's gonna rain, or if it does rain in an area, in a city, uh, the, the 3E will adjust for that. Uh, now there is the three, which from a tech geek standpoint, I kind of wish I had that one, um, because down here in Mexico, there are kind of microclimates, and so it's a little more geared towards your exact location and making more fine tweaks on a daily basis. The 3E adjusts on a monthly basis, except for when it knows that it's raining, but it's if it gets really hot, I believe the 3 is able to boost the water, whereas the 3E is just kind of like using a monthly a schedule, and then at the end of the month it says, oh, this is July, it gets hot, and it makes an adjustment across the, uh, the entire month, but not on a day-by-day -day basis. So if you're looking for more features like that day-by-day -day control or wireless controllers, um, check out the three. It is a little more expensive. It does do up to 16 zones. But for me, this is probably a pretty good deal. So I live in Portland, Oregon most of the year, but I'm able to use the app to control the irrigation system down here in Mexico. We have a caretaker here in Mexico, and he has the app on his Android phone. Mine's on, on an iPhone. So I gave him access so he can go through and turn the zones on or off if he thinks they need a little more water or if he's testing it out to make sure all the zones are, are working and all the emitters haven't gotten clogged. There's a lot of calcium in the water down here. Another fun thing that I can do here in Mexico or up in Portland is I can say, Echo, turn on Rachio zone two for three minutes. Okay, here's Rachio. Okay, zone number two is running for three minutes. I call mine Echo instead of Alexa. So everything can be done from your iPhone or Android device through the app. I'm gonna show you the details over on the computer. It's just a little easier to see, but you can see here that the different zones are set up here and I can go into a zone and see uh, information about that zone and set up things specifically for that zone and also go through different uh, schedules and calendar and whatnot. But I'm gonna take you over to the computer because it's just a lot easier to see. So you'll set up a Ratio account that works with all your different devices. And here on the computer, just take you through real briefly, you've got kind of a home screen that's telling you what's happening here. So you can see the weather here that is expected in Centenario. So it looks like there might be some rain coming up and it shows that the weather station that I'm connected to is four miles away. And once again, the Ratio 3, I think is able to give you a little more detail. And I believe you can connect a local uh, like a weather station that you buy to either one of these. Don't quote me on that though. But let's go through and this is how you would set up zones. So you can see here, I'm gonna go through this zone, has a dragon fruit in it. You can take a picture and give it a name. Now, if you want to use the, the skill on your Alexa device, you need to remember which number is which. You can't use the name on Alexa. Maybe they'll fix that in the coming version. But you can see here, I'll edit this. So you will go through when you're setting this up and say, you know, your, your name, a photo, what type of, is this shrubs or is this grass or annuals? So there's a lot of setting up that happens. And probably if you're working with a irrigation professional, they'd be able to, to help you with this in terms of, you know, what kind of 
irrigation is it? What kind of soil is it? What you know exposure? You can see here slope and even getting into like really detailed stuff like how deep the roots go and whatnot. That's a little beyond me. But that's something that you'll set up for each zone. And let me just, if you want to add another zone, you actually have to show the disabled zones. That's something that's a little tricky. So this one's disabled. So it's zone seven. I could go in here and edit this to get it all set up. Give it a name, give it a photo, tell, tell what we're watering go through all of these things because it is a smart controller. So you kind of got to tell it not, this isn't just like water for 10 minutes. It's able to kind of give you suggestions for how long it should water or if it should water for a bit and then stop for a bit and water for a bit. So there's a number of different things that are, you know, just it's more complicated, um, more advanced than just a regular irrigation controller. So then your zones go into a schedule here. And you can see here, I have a couple of different schedules and these can overlap with one another. So certain zones are on the additional schedule and the non-Finca schedule and things like that. So you can see every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you can go through and program this for even or odd days or how many days a week and things like that. If you're in an area that restricts irrigation, you can change the time that it starts. You can say this whole thing has to be done by um, sunup, which is how I do things. So it's only irrigating in the middle of the night. And you can look through the history of when everything was watered. So yeah, definitely lots going on here that you can, can pull up. Also controller settings. You can go here and change things in terms of um, whether there's a master valve that turns on all of the valves or not, things like that, um, what not, lots of, lots of information in here. And as I mentioned, you can share access. So I've got this shared with my wife and my caretaker. So any of them can turn these zones on or off. And as I mentioned, you can add sensors like a wind sensor. So it says, you know, if there's too much wind, don't turn on the, the sprinklers because they'll just blow all over the place. Or if it's rained recently, if it's enough rain, don't turn on the sprinklers, things like that. A uh, number of things that you can add to this system. And you can also integrate this with your Alexa or Google or Alarm or uh, if this, then that. That's a, a great thing that I'll pretty much integrate it with just about anything. So you could say, you know, Turn on the irrigation when the motion sensor lights in the yard come on because you think either cats or intruders are in your yard. It'll turn your irrigation system on. So lots of potential here with this device. And to finish up, one of my favorite things is just this quick run button in the lower right. You can just say, um, you know, I want to run this zone for just however many minutes, three minutes, just feel, feeling like something's a little bit dry. The quick run feature very easy to just quickly pop the water on into zone. Of course, there is a link down below if you'd like to purchase the Ratio 3E over on Amazon. That does support my YouTube habit. Thanks much for watching and happy watering.